All right. Case four. You can go on this one. Uh, kind of within epi there, you're seeing like a large chunk of this purple material, so probably calcium. Good. Um, so this is good for really just kind of calcinosis or a subepidermal calcified nodule. Yeah, exactly. Really... This is a subepidermal calcified nodule, which to me is just kind of like a, a like, uh, a name for a, a kind of, I think of it as a subtype of calcinosis cutis. It's calcification deposit in the skin. But generally, um, uh, I've only seen a handful of cases in real life. But the, the time I think of it is like usually in like around the eyelid, on a kid, solitary lesion, uh, on biopsy. It's a nodular aggregate of kind of chunky calcium deposits in the dermis right beneath the epidermis. And uh, is an incidental finding, to my knowledge, there's no association with any systemic uh, calcium or phosphate abnormalities. So it basically, I think of it as kind of like a, a localized form of calcinosis cutis that's just an incidental solitary lesion. Um, in, and it's usually, like I said, in kids. And the eyelid, I think, is the, the more common site. I'm not sure here. I doubt this is eyelid based on the, the punch here. I would have voted this is probably acral skin, although it's got a lot of reactive epidermal hyperplasia and kind of lichen simplex chronicus changes over it. So uh, so it's hard to know if it's that or if it's just been picked out a bit. But yeah, that's subepidermal calcified nodule, which again, I think of as kind of a, a variation of calcinosis cutis.